Chapter 39 For the priests, the craftsmen made beautiful garments of blue, purple, and scarlet cloth, clothing to be worn while ministering in the holy place. The same cloth was used for Aaron's sacred garments, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The ephod was made from fine linen cloth and embroidered with gold thread and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. A skilled craftsman made gold thread by beating gold into thin sheets and cutting it into fine strips. He then embroidered it into the linen with the blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. They made two shoulder pieces for the ephod, which were attached to its corners so it could be tied down. They also made an elaborate woven sash of the same materials. Fine linen cloth, blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, and gold thread, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The two onyx stones attached to the shoulder pieces of the ephod were set in gold filigree. The stones were engraved with the names of the tribes of Israel, just as initials are engraved on a seal. These stones served as reminders to the Lord concerning the people of Israel. All this was done just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The chest piece was made in the same style as the ephod, crafted from fine linen cloth and embroidered with gold thread and blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. It was doubled over to form a pouch nine inches square. Four rows of gemstones were set across it. In the first row were a red carnelian, a chrysolite, and an emerald. In the second row were a turquoise, a sapphire, and a white moonstone. In the third row were a jacinth, an agate, and an amethyst. In the fourth row were a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper. Each of these gemstones was set in gold. The stones were engraved like a seal, each with the name of one of the twelve tribes of Israel. To attach the chest piece to the ephod, they made braided cords of pure gold. They also made two gold rings and attached them to the top corners of the chest piece. The two gold cords were put through the gold rings on the chest piece, and the ends of the cords were tied to the gold settings on the shoulder pieces of the ephod. Two more gold rings were attached to the lower inside corners of the chest piece next to the ephod. Then two gold rings were attached to the ephod near the sash. Blue cords were used to attach the bottom rings of the chest piece to the rings on the ephod. In this way, the chest piece was held securely to the ephod above the beautiful sash. All this was done just as the Lord had commanded Moses. The robe of the ephod was woven entirely of blue yarn with an opening for Aaron's head in the middle of it. The edge of this opening was reinforced with a woven collar so it would not tear. Pomegranates were attached to the bottom edge of the rope. These were finely crafted of blue, purple, and scarlet yarn. Bells of pure gold were placed between the pomegranates along the hem of the robe, with bells and pomegranates alternating all around the hem. This robe was to be worn when Aaron ministered to the Lord, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Tunics were then made for Aaron and his sons from fine linen cloth. The turban, the headdresses, and the underclothes were all made of fine linen. The sashes were made of fine linen cloth and embroidered with blue, purple, and scarlet yarn, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Finally, they made the sacred medallion of pure gold to be worn on the front of the turban. Using the techniques of an engraver, they inscribed it with these words, Set apart as holy to the Lord. This medallion was tied to the turban with a blue cord, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. And so at last the tabernacle was finished. The Israelites had done everything just as the Lord had commanded Moses. And they brought the entire tabernacle to Moses, the sacred tent with all its furnishings, the clasps, frames, crossbars, posts, and bases, the layers of tanned ram skins and fine goatskin leather, the inner curtain that enclosed the most holy place, the Ark of the Covenant and its carrying poles, the Ark's cover, the place of atonement, the table and all its utensils, the bread of the presence, the gold lampstand and its accessories, the lamp cups and the oil for lighting, the gold altar, the anointing oil, the fragrant incense, the curtain for the entrance of the sacred tent, the bronze altar, the bronze grating, its poles and utensils, the large wash basin and its pedestal, the curtains for the walls of the courtyard and the posts and bases holding them up, the curtain at the courtyard entrance, the cords and tent pegs, all the articles used in the operation of the tabernacle, 
the beautifully crafted garments to be worn while ministering in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron, the priest, and for his sons to wear while on duty. So the people of Israel followed all of the Lord's instructions to Moses. Moses inspected all their work and blessed them because it had been done as the Lord had commanded him.